Thank you, Jack, uh, and congratulations to uh, Collier and uh, to McCollum. Uh, I know everybody in the league is um, nervous, obviously, about the success that Middlebury had with uh, Danny and uh, now, obviously, with McCollum. So uh, congratulations to, to both you guys. It's a tremendous honor. Um, as Dan also mentioned, uh, you know, uh, we will be playing Amherst, and I'll talk about them in, in a second. I know there's been more talk about Amherst with uh, their baseball operations and successes of <laughs> Amherst alums with Ben Sherrington being the uh, GM now of the Red Sox. But uh, before we get there, we got to talk about Williams this past week. Uh, went out to Williams, uh, really found ourselves in a good game in the, in the first and, and three quarters of the way through the second quarter. 14-14 uh, with about three minutes left in the, in the half. Um, uh, we, we punted to Williams, uh, returned it for a 77-yard touchdown. Uh, we got the ball back, had an opportunity to, 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 to do some things offensively, ended up uh, punting back to them, and you know, they, they hit a couple strikes down to about, the, about a 66-yard pass down to the uh, five or six-yard line, scored again. We went into halftime uh, down 14. Uh, and you know, for, for, for a young team who continues to grow and work hard, um, you know, there were some good signs. There was definitely some improvements. Uh, you know, but as, as we've talked about to, to the team uh, and the things that we continue to work on, we have to make sure we're not putting ourselves in those positions uh, in areas where we can't find ourselves to, to, to be able to get out of them. Um, uh, but all in all, you know, I mean, I, again, I was impressed with some of the things we did. I think that we were better in certain areas, certainly in, in places that we want to be better with, controlling the football and protecting the ball. Uh, started to get the run game. I think we were... We actually ended up rushing Grossman for about 100 yards rushing and ended up netting 40. We gave up about six sacks and versus a team like Williams, that's, and, and, and with a team like we are right now, that's obviously an even steeper hill for us to, to, to try to continue to climb. Um, uh, defensively, I thought there were some really good things. I don't think the score uh, necessarily was a true um, uh, representation of how our defense played. Again, Zach Skarzynski, our starting middle linebacker, is the name I keep mentioning week in and week out. Uh, the heart and soul of our defense had another 11 tackles, eight solo. Uh, you know, really, really has a great nose for the football and has done a tremendous job, as has the rest of the defense. Uh, Sam Diss, our starting free safety, uh, you know, leads the league in returns. Uh, I think he had about eight total tackles himself, as well as a fumble recovery. And you know, we we continue to see improvements, and 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 that, that that's what we've been talking about, and that's what we've been focused on. And you know, I mean, our our guys continue to work hard. Uh, moving forward to this week, we do have Amherst coming to town. Uh, you know, the last two weeks prior, uh, we played Trinity and Williams, and whatever categories they're not in first in the league, Amherst is. So uh, we've got a tremendous opponent. Um, they've done you know great great things throughout the course of the year. Uh, really have found themselves in some good games. Uh, their defense is fantastic. Coach Mills does a great job with their defense. Uh, they're aggressive. They play hard, and they've got great talent. Um, but it's Parents Weekend. We're excited to be back home and uh, looking forward to the opportunity. So good luck to everybody this week, and congratulations to you guys again.